The Wollin Canal is a system of locks that drops ships 326 feet from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario, or lifts them up from Lake Ontario to Lake Erie. So what is the history behind the Wollin Canal, and how does it work? One hundred and ninety nine years ago, or in eighteen twenty four, Canadian politician and entrepreneur William Hamilton Merritt proposed the idea of a canal to bypass the Niagara Falls. Construction began on november twenty fourth, eighteen twenty four, and the canal was completed on november twenty ninth, eighteen twenty nine. It became an immediate success. By eighteen thirty three, five more locks had been constructed, totaling forty wooden locks. In 1844, a new canal was constructed and reduced the number of locks from 40 to 27. These new locks were made of limestone and increased the width from 22 feet to 26 feet and increased the depth from 6 to 8 feet. And later, in 1853, deepened it to 10 feet. In 1887, a third canal was completed and featured 26 stone locks with widths of 44 feet and depths of 13 feet. The final canal, or what exists today, was built between 1913 to 1932. On August 6, 1932, the Le Moyne was the first ship to go through the new locks. In total, there are eight locks, which started at a depth of 24 feet and were deepened twice more to its current depth of 30 feet. Each lock measures 80 feet in width and 859 feet in length, except lock 8, which is 1,380 feet long. Ships transiting the Welland Canal are limited to a length of 740 feet, a width of 78 feet, and a draft of 26.5 feet. Lifting a 30,000 ton ship may seem like an impossible task, but every day ships of this size are lifted and lowered in the eight locks of the Welland Canal. Once a ship enters a lock, it is tied to bullards to keep it secure. Then, before the lifting or lowering process begins, the gates are closed. Gravity and water is then used to either lift or lower the ships. This is done by water entering or exiting the valves inside the lock. The process moves 20 million gallons of water in 11 minutes. Each lock on the Wollon Canal lifts or lowers ships by about 46 and a half feet. For a ship transiting the canal, a qualified pilot must be on board at all times, and it takes about 8 to 11 hours to transit the canal. In 2022, 37 million tons of cargo move to the Duan Canal. The canal supports around 300,000 jobs and has an effect of $60 billion on the U.S. and Canadian economy. Various cargoes like grain move through that are destined for ports all over the world. The canal also sees the movement of iron ore for steel plants, among other cargoes. In addition to its impact on economies, the canal also boasts low emissions and plans to lower that number even more in the future. Overall, the Wollon Canal has a rich history and in all probability, a rich future. Anyway, subscribe for more shipping information, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.